Those look like Atlanteans. Look at this. You are truly favored, Krios, to have been shown the way to such a place. The gods have favored Atlantis, but not the Olympian gods. What? Look, the symbol on the passage that brought us here. That's the mark of the Titan Oranos. Next to our settlement is a temple of his. Beside it is one to Kronos. These are clear signs. These are the gods who have led us here. Their temples are overgrown. We should restore them as a sign of our gratitude. It is forbidden! Krios is right. It's Castor, son of Arkantos. What was Zeus doing for us back there? At least Oranos has led us here. If he favors us, we're better offering prayers to him than having none look after us. Look, they're going into the temple of Oranos. We must put a stop to this at once. Let's reclaim these temples and rebuild Atlantis. This is like the first proper mission and it's a bit of a challenging one, but I really like it. Um, Castor, we have just enough resources to restore the temples. After that, we'll need to gather more. I'm just going to put this out there. Imagine seeing a temple to this guy and being like, do you know what? That's the right god for me to worship. I think... I think this guy's going to do good things for the Attackers! world. <laughs> uh, it's certainly a choice, isn't it? This one, yeah, maybe. I can I can get behind that. It's kind of very Zeus-like. Those were Greeks, Krios. Why did they attack us? I'm probably going to be worshipping a guy that looks like that. <laughs> I'm just, just saying. A god, I should say. I mean, that's got bad news written all over it. Not being funny. You guys do that. We need to age up ASAP Rocky. We're going to secure a second base very quickly too. But we need to uh, secure the uh, next age before we can do that. Yushi. Grab timber once you finish with that. Look! A relic! Yeah, no, no. She do want to start building oracles. Because of the, the temples are repaired, Krios. Good work. We're going to make full use of the fact that we can um, use sky passages. They are very, very useful in teleporting troops from one location to another. Let me uh, definitely taking advantage of that. We're going to grow with Oceanus. Mostly because he focuses on upgrading your infantry. Run to the tower! Which is very useful. The bad Atlanteans! Yoshi. Yoshi. So the one thing with um, oracles is they are very slow at generating favor and you want to make sure they're not overlapping their vision with other oracles. I actually think the way the Atlanteans gain favor in this game is not great, quite frankly. It's slow and not that effective, quite frankly. Oh, I do want to grab these guys and build a second base. Yoshi. 
she? Okay, we're gonna build up our a second sky fort, second base. Castor, sir. The attacks are coming from a pass that leads to the other side of the island. The Greeks have a base there. We should destroy it. So Bayamoths are really good at destroying buildings, they're not very good at anything else, but they are, well, they're really good at tanking and destroying buildings, um, but they're useless at destroying enemy units. It sure would be easier to get around if we built some sky passages. Way ahead of you, buddy. Okay, these are good because they can heal. Not the best, not the easiest to uh, control though. Uh, there's normally about two hoplites that keep running up this way. I'm just going to leave them. Um, the town center will take care of them throughout the whole mission. A relic. Yeah, we should definitely grab that one. It gives us constant favor, trickle, and reduces time center costs, although that ship's already sailed. <laughs> but we need we need the Barracks ASAP, Rocky, that's the that's the main thing. Oh, so these are basically the attacks that we're constantly having to defend against. Uh, the Marmillos are pretty much uh, the main units that we need to defend Hoplites. They're really good against them. But we are going to need to switch up the unit composition for the final part of this mission, which is to destroy the enemy town center. It's a very, very tricky and challenging fight. I also want to grab our upgrades at this point, as well as grabbing a couple of farms. I'm also upgrade these boys to heroes, which is worth doing. It's not a huge expense. Um, the main cost is in favor, which is why we're building all the oracles. And then once we age up to the third age, we can start building um, satyrs, which are really, really good units. Very, very powerful ranged attackers. Once these guys are finished, that will take on um, gold over there. Let's 
but I'm going to have to move into uh, more timber production. I'm also going to want to build a uh, counter barracks, mostly for the sort of ballista units and also the um, anti cavalry unit because the enemy does build a lot of cavalry this mission. I won't be able to deal with that. My millos are great against infantry, but they're not so great against cavalry or ranged units. So you just want these things to not really overlap. Food is back to being the problem. On the plus side, we have sorted out our wood problem for the most part. For now, right, deal with this situation. Ah, right, it's the other enemy attacks. That's funny. Actually, you don't even need those things, to be honest. I suppose it's not the worst thing to have, but these guys... Another advantage of the fact that they don't have to return food anywhere, you can literally just send them in to gather wherever. You can just build farms anywhere on the map. It doesn't really matter. You take that down, start raiding. And at least some troops. Stop building civilians at this point. We've got a really good, robust economy. But I do need to age up. I'm going to go with Hyperion. A couple of reasons. One is chaos, and the second is the fact that you can build satyrs. Satyrs are awesome. Alright, so this will stop all the enemy attacks the on us. Are breaking through the pass. We have to stop them. At least for the most part. But their standing army is massive, so we definitely can't deal with that just yet. We've destroyed the base and we are moving on to the city. You say we're doing that. We're, we're just holding our 
Holding fire for a moment, boys. <laughs> Let's not be hasty, Master Baggins. Again, again. Quick, shove off! The Atlanteans are coming! Don't actually need the gold. Let me just start upgrading the boys as much as possible. I need loads more food actually. We've got so much wood now. One thing I think is worth doing at this point is building a... Actually, two things we need. One, we want to build this. Secondly, you want to build that. No, 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 no. Fine. Let's also build a couple more. These are going to need to build up a big arm. Well, don't mean to upgrade them, but okay. Fine. I guess that's okay. Upgrade the Sages. Definitely want to grab this. Upgrade the Oracles to so Oracle Heroes. Scopos, Mark, Yushi. Yushi, Mark, Scopos. This so we can get higher population cap. No, 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 don't be hasty, boys. Not quite ready to take them on yet. Definitely want to grab the upgrades. Uh, those guys, because destroyers are actually really good at destroying buildings, which we'll need. But I think we could probably build a second one of these. Look! A relic! Oh, there. Oh, that's actually pretty good. This castle. Actually, do I just bring the oracle over? No idea how you get that one. Look, there is relics. Oh, there he is. Hey, those are definitely worth picking up. I'm going to grab a couple of boys just to deal with that. We want to grab Sages now. That's pretty much all the upgrades we can get. 
Sushi. Busto. So fully maxed out, so we'll uh, start pushing into the enemy soon. I think we don't get any more citizens. If anything, I've got too many. <laughs> wow, loads of relics. I can't use god powers anyway. So that one's pointless. Take that one though. Not sure how you're supposed to get to that. Oh, I know how you do that. No, I don't. No, I don't have a clue. You'd have to build a dock, I think. Can't bother with that. <laughs> it's way too much effort. It's just not, I just don't think it's worth it. All right, I think we've got a pretty big army now that A relic. There's one there. No, that one was there. How do we get that? Oh, you gotta walk all the way around there. Huh. All right, well, might as well start our attack then. Time to cause a little bit of chaos. Atlanteans! Atlanteans! Break through this. Well, we might be able to actually. I'm getting close, but they've got nine, nine buildings that produce units. So I think we need to back it up just for a second. Mass, mass, the epic tug of war push into the enemy now. To be fair, what we actually need to do is destroy the uh, town centre, so if we can get these guys out of the way, or just get them to push in, we should be golden. That's that'll do him. Yeah, this is the primary objective to destroy this uh, town center. The town center is destroyed. The Greeks are retreating. Excellent. Excellent. GG's!
I actually quite like that mission. It's pretty good. Pretty well balanced, I think. The last of them are escaping. Krios, they were Greek. Why would they attack us? Whatever the reason, it is an outrage. Get your troops together, Castor. We're in no shape to start a war now. I will get some men and go after the Greeks. But I want to find out why an old ally would suddenly attack us before we start any fighting. Might, just might, have something to do with the fact that you're worshipping Kronos. Just a thought. Anywho, that about about it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If it's the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.